Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is use the Your Phone app to connect your phone to your Surface. Microsoft announced the Your Phone app back in 2018, and over the last year and a bit, it's been getting heaps and heaps of new features, especially if you're on the Android platform like I am. I'm gonna show you how to set up the Your Phone app on both Android and iOS. But the key reason I love this app is because it allows me to access my phone without picking up my phone. If you're like me, you've probably found over time that the moment you put this thing in your hand, you're probably already distracted. There's so many things going on on your phone, notifications, all sorts of different apps that you can run and take you in different directions. When you wanna stay focused and get things done, and maybe you're really just focusing on seeing messages and responding to them at that particular time, you don't want to be distracted by all of the other opportunities that your phone presents. So leaving the phone out of my hand and being able to access certain features of it directly through my Surface allows me to stay focused on what I'm doing right now. Whether you're using Android or iOS, the first step you're going to need to do is open the Your Phone app. You may need to download this from the Microsoft Store, but if you have one of the latest builds of Windows, the Your Phone app has been pre-installed for you so you can just click on your start menu and you should see it at the bottom of your start menu or you can search for it. Once you've opened the Your Phone app, you'll need to sign in with your Microsoft account. This Microsoft account needs to be the same one that you're going to sign in on your phone with. So just remember which one that is. Bear in mind that we could have a work or organizational Office 365 account or a personal Microsoft account. And just make sure you use the same one on both. Now I'm not familiar with the iPhone side of things because I don't have an iPhone, but if you have an iPhone, you will need to download an app called Continue on PC, and I'll assume that you need to open that up and sign into that app using the same Microsoft account. Over on your Android phone, you'll need to download the Your Phone Companion app. Once you've downloaded this app, open it up, and again, sign in with that same Microsoft account. The Your Phone Companion app will walk you through a set of instructions allowing certain permissions so that you can access certain features of your device. Now here in my Galaxy Note 10, I'm able to use all of the features that the Your Phone app offers with Android. For example, I can send and receive messages, I can access my photos, I can sync my notifications so that if a notification pops up on my device, it also pops up in the Action Center on my PC, and I can even share my phone screen directly from the Your Phone app. Now this is a unique feature to the Galaxy Note series currently, but over time Microsoft will no doubt enable more phones to access this feature and share the actual screen onto your device. So if you don't have all of the features there at the moment, that probably means that your phone doesn't support all of the features, but hopefully you can at least text and respond to messages and also grab your photos directly from your phone with Android. Now over on iPhone, things are a little bit limited at the moment. You can't share your screen, you can't sync your messages or notifications even currently. Hopefully those things will come in future. But what you can do is share app links or web links that you've, maybe something that you've been reading on your device. You can share that so that it pops up in the Your Phone app and you can actually continue reading something that you've been reading on your iPhone right back on your Surface. Now that we've set up the Your Phone app, Let's take a look at what we can do with it on our Surface. Now, I'm gonna focus on what we can do with Android because we can do more currently, and that's what I have. So let's have a look at the Photos feature first of all. With the Your Phone app, you can take a photo, and if you jump on in here and click on Photos, you'll see that the camera roll is instantly updating. Now, you may need to be on the same Wi-Fi network to do this, so using a Wi-Fi hotspot will probably work. But as I'm taking my photos, I have them there in a short camera roll. This is not a complete list of every single photo that ever took place on my device or on my phone, but I can see the last probably 30 or 40 photographs that I've taken here. Now, if I wanna use this photo in a Word document, all I have to do is simply drag it from the app and drop it directly into my Word document. So you can use this feature in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any application that allows you to drag and drop and you can even just drag a photo from the camera roll directly onto your desktop or into the file explorer right there on your surface. The messaging feature of the Orphone app allows me to send messages, of course, via my surface directly through my phone. So if I wanted to text somebody, 
it's much easier for me to do that from my surface than to pick up my phone and again risk that distraction. But the thing that I really like about having messages right there on my surface is that I can respond with my keyboard, I could respond with touch on an on-screen keyboard, or even better, I actually really like to handwrite my text messages. Using Windows 10's inbuilt handwriting recognition features, I'm able to just directly write out my messages straight into the app and just send them off. So I've got lots of ways that I can respond to text messages, again, without the distraction of picking up my phone. You can also sync your notifications with the Your Phone app, but I tend to leave this feature turned off because notifications are a big source of distraction and it's just something that I don't want on my productivity device on my Surface. I do use the screen sharing feature of the Your Phone app quite a lot. It's really awesome to be able to access my phone, leave it sitting on the desk or leave it somewhere else. And I can just access that device and I can log in and I can use touch on my screen to control the phone. It's almost like I'm actually using it right there in my hand, but it's actually on my Surface screen. So I haven't left the context. You can also use the keyboard and mouse to navigate your screen here. So you've got lots of different options for interacting with your phone if you have this feature here. Uh, just one more thing. I've just noticed while we're filming this that the calling feature has reappeared in my settings in the Your Phone app and I've been able to turn that on and I've re-obtained uh, the ability to actually make and receive calls directly from my Surface. This uses a Bluetooth connection, uh, but it's, it's a pretty cool feature to have so that again, I can leave my phone on the desk, in my bag or somewhere else and not have to have the distraction of that phone. So tell us about your experience with the Your Phone app. If you've heard of it before, if you're gonna try it now, tell us in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Surface Pro tips. I don't know what I'm gonna say, but you know, doing one of those again. <laughs> Scripting really helps. <laughs> I need a scriptwriter.